Okay, so welcome to this uh, hands-on session on concept mapping. We're making use of the concept mapping tool, CMAP, and uh, I trust that you're going to follow and you enjoy this particular session. So to start with, we're going to create a new folder in our Views panel over on this side by clicking on File on the top tab, New Folder. Give it a name of your choice. We're just going to call this Training resources and click on OK. And what should happen? You can see I've got a whole lot of folders already on my particular views folder and I've added this one training resources. I'm going to see if I can just drag and drop my training resources into that particular folder. Let's open it on the side. There we go. I've got all my content. So if you were lecturer and you've got content covering making coffee and that's the example we're going to make use of you can have images you can have powerpoints pdfs um, movies and you can embed other concept maps within concept maps so this is all part of my resources i'm just going to collect them and link them all or select them all drag and drop and let's hope that they will go into that yes so this is the window that i want to show you so it says the add resources and here you can say whether you want to copy external files to the views which means copy them across or don't i would actually recommend that it gets copied across so you can just check whether they're all there and if you're happy that they are the folders you are interested in or the files you are interested in all you do need, need to do is to click on add all so there you can see it is copying all that into that particular folder into the resource folder and there you can see them okay so right so now the next step would be to create your uh, concept map so what we would do say new c map click on it and you can see as yet it's still untitled i like to start by giving it a name and so we save it as say save cmap as what we're going to do we're going to say uh, how to make a cup of coffee that's actually the focus which i'm just going to copy that from there and paste it over in this little and give it another and say making coffee there we go and we click on save so once it's saved, you'll see on the top tab, ribbon over here, it gives you the name and the title of your particular concept map called Making Coffee. How to make a coffee, a cup of coffee is your focus question. And I'm just going to make that one a little smaller, the view, so you don't get distracted by that. Close that, we can always open it again. So there we go. This is the canvas. I like to call it the canvas because it's the the part of the software that you actually get to draw on and this is uh, obviously a very creative process so no two concept maps will necessarily look the same as you can see in the center of the screen it says double click to create a concept so to begin with anywhere that you click or double click on this particular area you'll form a bubble with questions and that basically indicates um, gives you direction to write your concept and it is normally within a circle or a bubble as is demonstrated over here so you can move these around individually once it's highlighted or you can simply select them all by dragging and dropping across them and moving them all at once so once they're all highlighted you can also just press and delete and you're back the square one so listen there's more than one way of skinning a cat so there's more than one way of adding concepts to your particular concept maps i'm just showing you one the other would be when you click on this little tab over here that looks like a little notepad if i click on that it opens up let me just move this window for you move it down there and move this across you can see it says concepts linking phrases propositions cmap outline so everything is right there so you can either choose to just add your concepts in this way by typing, I'm just going to show you, and I press enter, it will appear on your screen over on that side. Okay, so any concept that you add in this particular fashion, 
and it will appear over there okay so some prefer that others do it the old-fashioned way by adding it directly onto the canvas so here we go we're going to start with making a cup of coffee and I'm going to begin by saying in response to that question is making I'm going to put it in caps um, making a oops, that's incorrect. making a cup of coffee okay requires what so now we come to we're just going to brainstorm we're going to throw up some of the in elements of making coffee first of all you're going to need coffee right coffee uh, that doesn't need to be in caps so just put coffee uh, sugar milk creamer uh, water uh, you can even say sweetener if you want uh, is that the way you spell sweetener? Sweetener. You can have, um, well, you're going to need a cup. You might need a teaspoon. Uh, you might need fire. You might need electricity. Always have to be spelling that. Electricity. You might be cooking with gas. Okay. So what you need to do at this particular point, or at least it's my um, recommendation, is that you then begin to group all these various components together. Which ones can you group together and give them a common name or group name? Say coffee, sugar, creamer, sweetener, uh, milk, water. I can group fire, electricity, gas oh, I can even have a kettle over here kettle so I can group these and if I want to be really sophisticated we can say a tray so we've got a tray teaspoon if we can group those together we can group gas together coffee sugar sweetener okay so what would we call teaspoon cup tray select all of them you see they are all highlighted as they are highlighted right click oops now that is something that will happen what you need to do is to right click oops you don't want that to happen so you right click while they're all highlighted move up to, or down to nested node and click on create now you can see this little box creating these handles. Firstly, I want to add a label inside the teaspoon, cup, kettle, tray. What can they be called um, together as a group? I would say utensils. Some might call them equipment. Once you close that box, you can see, well, it asked me what's the name of this box, what's inside of that box. I put the same name over there. Convenience sake and i do the same to this group I click on say nested node let's just add what can i call these i call them ingredients as a group name so when i close it i want to do the same on that ingredients electric gas fire i can call these uh, energy sources energy sources and you can see I uh, put it in caps because it's a it's a it's a group name it's an overarching um, concept so again I uh, group them together highlight right click move down to nested node and click on create I can close that little box with these handles here open and close them and I can call that energy sources there we got the basics now we've got to make the linkages between these concepts and we begin normally by the focus question as you can see with each one of these as I click on them they form these little arrows on top 
so what I'll, what I'll do is it takes a little practice is drag, click and drag you hold down the mouse click hold down and drag uh, normally try and drag it right into the bubble and I release and you can see the same handles gets created over there so I want to say making a cup of coffee requires ingredients utensils and energy so I can link all of that in that fashion instead of repeating the word requires every time I just put it there once and there we have our basic concept map